there are two new loops that are introduced in JavaScript. Fairly new, not very, very new, fairly new. And uh, I would like to discuss both of them in this video. The first is for off loop and the second one is for in loop. Which one to use where is the biggest confusing point for a lot of you. Again, they definitely give you some of the syntactical sugar over the classic for loop which has the initialization, the declaration, as well as we got some of the checker, then we got incrementer or decrementer. So there's a whole lot going on with the traditional for loop. So to inter in order to simplify these things, the two more loops are introduced in the for off and the for in format. And again, they are introduced keeping in mind that one will be used majorly with the array, one is going to be used majorly with the objects. Again, not 100% compulsion, but this is usually the general criteria and the thinking behind designing these two things. So let's go ahead and use this. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and have a few names and let's get some name of the websites. So I'm going to say that first one is going to be YouTube because why not? Then we're going to have Facebook. We are going to have Instagram. We are going to have uh, Netflix, just randomly some names. So we got some values to for that we can work on. And just for fun, let's add Amazon. Just for fun, nothing much. Okay. Now we want to loop through that. We have already seen that we have got four and we can actually use this names uh, dot for each as well. Again, for each technically is not counted in the loop. So we are not going to be discussing that again. So now we want to use the for loop. This is the syntax how we go for it. Now, instead of declaring an initialization of the value, we're going to use for off loop. Again, for off is majorly used for the array. How do we do that? We simply are going to say const. You can use var, you can use let, however you want to go. Usually such values, actually it's better that if you go inside the for off and for each loop, you declare the variable, which is going to be looping through the values as constant it's because it should never change. Okay. Now we're going to simply say n and technically the value actually internally change and I don't really, I really don't want to go into too much of the depth of the memory. The value actually the constant remains same, the memory location shift. Let's not go too much in depth of that. We already got C++ and other series for that. Now what we do is we declare this variable and we simply use the keyword off and then whoever you want to loop through. So in this case, I just want to loop through the names. The advantage of this loop is I can simply go ahead and simply say log and n or whatever you have called this value. This can be n, i, j, hitesh, superman, whatever you like to have, iron man, whatever you want to say, you can actually go ahead and do this. Now, the advantage of this, if I print this out, I am in 0, 3 and I'm inside 1, 4. It just dumps out the value directly very very handy and in case you will be going in some of the larger frameworks like angular they use these for off and for in loop like anything so just be cautious about that they are going to be using not exactly this exact way they have their tweaky implementation there because that's a framework but again the concept is going to remain same exactly same okay so this is pretty clear. There is nothing much to discuss and confuse it further. Let's go ahead and declare another one. So let's just say we are going to call this time as symbols, which is going to be an object. This is how we create them. And we're going to design or say some shorthand notations here. So YT, we call that as YouTube. And then we got IG, I call it as Instagram. And uh, we do have a very famous shortcut for Facebook as well. So we're going to say uh, this is actually for Facebook. And uh, we don't have anything for Netflix or Amazon. So I'm going to introduce mine, my website. Let's go ahead and say, because why not? Oops. There we go. Nice and easy. So we have these symbols and we want to loop through them. Now we want to use the exact same syntax here. So I'm going to close this for a second. We want to use exactly same syntax and notice the similarity between the syntax. We go ahead and declare the for just like this. We're going to simply say const if I can write that. And we're going to say n again. And this time we're going to say off. But instead of the or, Remember what I told you, the for off is for array majorly. And we have another one which is for in. In is used for objects. In this case, the symbols is an object. So I'm going to use it and there we go. Now we can simply go ahead and say uh, the log here. So I can simply go ahead and log this n. So let's first do that to show you some of the stuff. I'm going to comment this out. No other extra brains coming up in here. So let's go ahead and run this. 
So notice what it gives us. It gives us the keys back and that's what it should be giving us back because accessing the values from the key is super easy. Accessing uh, keys from the value is, is not what we want. So how we can do that? Actually, it's very, very easy. I can go ahead and simply say that I am interested in symbols. So symbols, and I can wrap this up inside the square brackets. If you remember, I told you this is one of the syntax of accessing the values from an object. I told you I don't like it, but in some of the syntaxes, it's actually what we use. Again, did I wrote it correct or not? Looks like I am making a whole lot of mistake. There we go. Symbols, hopefully, this time no typo. And there we go, we get all the values. But rather, you're not gonna see this being used in this syntax. Uh, majority of the time, people like to use the back text here and then say uh, something like this. So keys or key is something like this. Use the dollar sign and these guys and we print out N and we simply say key is this and value is and put a colon and there we go. We can actually put a colon here as well. Makes it look nice. And we again use the variable. So dollar sign, curly braces and same syntax. I'm not going to make a typo again. I'm going to copy this time. And square brackets. Here goes your N. So there we go. This is how we use it. Again, it's just a fancy way of dumping out the values. However, or whatever you want to do with the values, it's up to you. And yes, I have seen these two loops being used quite excessively in the recent codes on GitHub and stuff. You're going to see them a lot as well. So make sure you don't run away from them. You make them as a next habit. All of these loops are extremely important, extremely helpful. You definitely can have your choice that I like this one, I don't like that one. But having command and all of the syntax of them is very crucial for you. I hope you have enjoyed it. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.